Hi and welcome again. Today we're going to talk about the symbols, abbreviations, uh, megabytes, kilobytes, gigabytes, and terabytes. Uh, megabytes, let's explain a little bit how a computer works. A computer works on a code. Everything in your computer all your programs, all your games, everything works inside the computer works on a code. A code is a byte. A byte is an eight digit code that consists of zeros and ones. Your computer only understands two numbers, zeros and ones. Uh, a bit is an eight digit code. It could be anything. There's a bunch of them. Uh, it could be zero zero one 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 zero. Anything like that. Um, eight of these bits. Put eight of these bits together. And it creates a byte. So, once you get a byte, that's where the word, the term megabyte, kilobyte, gigabyte comes into play. You have these eight digit codes, and these combined create a bit. Now, when we talk about megabytes, megabytes, actually we should do these the other way around. Let's switch these. Kilobytes, megabytes. A kilobyte is a thousand bytes. A megabyte is a million bytes. A gigabyte is a billion bytes. And a terabyte is A trillion bytes. Let's see, we have a twenty three, six, nine. I don't know why that's coming up with an air. Hold on. One. Okay, now to explain how things work, uh, you have your bit, one bit. Uh, this is only showing this because the zeros on the end, it deletes them. Just put some ones on the end just so it shows all the codes. Yeah. Okay, so we have a bit, which is one of these codes. You get eight bits together, and you come up with a byte. A kilobyte is a thousand bytes. A megabyte is a million bytes. A gigabyte is a billion bytes. And a terabyte is a trillion bytes. 
So, for example, if you have, say you're downloading something off the internet, and as you're downloading it, uh, it says 35.4 meg. That's the size of the file, 35.4 meg. So it's 35.4 million of these eight-digit codes. And then it'll say after that, um, downloaded 11.1 at uh, whatever it says, 13, 132 uh, kilobytes per second. And so that tells you the file size is 35.4 megabytes. Sometimes it says meg, sometimes it'll say megabytes. Either way. Uh, and then it says downloaded. You downloaded already 11.1 megabytes. So you have 24.3 uh, megabytes remaining. And then it'll say at 132 kilobytes per second. And what that means is that's your download rate. How fast you download from the internet that particular file. Uh, and then it'll say one minute 43 seconds remaining. What that's telling you is how long it's going to take until that file finishes. Now you'll notice your time will change. Sometimes it'll say one minute 43 seconds and then it'll go to two minutes one second. Then it'll drop to 45 seconds stuff like that. The reason for that is because this download rate is going to change. Sometimes it'll be 132 kilobytes per second. Uh, it may drop to 100 kilobytes per second. It may drop down to 25 kilobytes per second. So the slower this download rate is the longer time it's going to take to complete this file. Uh, same thing when you're on a disk. If you're downloading something from a disk, a game, it could say 100 meg uh, downloading, time remaining, the weight, stuff like that. Um, your computer, when you're looking at a computer, if you want to buy a computer, say you're looking at a, an HP computer or whatever you're looking to buy, and it says uh, 250 gig oh, gig hard drive. What that means? Uh, actually, this is usually in capital letters, but. It doesn't matter for now. Or it can say 500 gig hard drive. What that means is the hard drive in your computer, the hard drive is the main memory. Uh, it's actually a disk that's inside a little box in your computer. And that saves all the programs, downloads, games, anything you put on your computer, files, you create a file, a document, anything, it's all stored on your hard drive. And what this means is 250 gig. It means that hard drive can hold 250 billion bytes. Right? So you have 250 billion bytes that that computer can hold. So, if you make a little more room here, when you get that little symbol, it just means you don't have enough space for all the numbers or whatever you're writing. Just make the area, the cell a little bigger. So you have 250 billion bytes of these eight-digit codes you can store on this hard drive. So you come up here and say you download a program 35.4 million bytes this program is so 34 35 million 
400,000 bytes. So now, out of this 250 billion bytes that you can store in your computer, you downloaded a program and you put on the hard drive 35.4 million. So, if we come down here and do equal sum this minus this equals. Now that gives you your balance of how much room you have left on your hard drive to put things. So you come in here and you download another program. Uh, say it's 1.1 gigabyte. That's a that's a huge file. You probably won't find anything that big, but just for example, 1.1 billion, 1.1 gig. Oops. One point one, let's see, one thousand million billions. You download a file that's one point one gig gigabytes. And now you come down here and do the same thing. Minus equals and now you have a balance of two hundred and forty eight billion eight hundred and sixty four million six hundred thousand bytes of space left on your hard drive I hope this makes a little bit of sense if you have any questions on this feel free to send me an email or hop on the forum and we can talk about this out loud or with other students but just remember your computer only reads zeros and ones and what you see on your computer when you download a program that has all these codes, your computer translates it to actually what you see on the screen, part of your, your, your motherboard inside your computer, whether it's a PC or a laptop, converts these figures, these bytes, into a program, into what you actually see on your screen. So. Keep in mind how this works. Kilobytes is a thousand, megabytes is a million, gigabytes is a billion, and terabytes is a trillion. Thank you. I hope this was useful.